Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn how to make HTTP calls via get method. We will make use of HTTP client to make uh, our get calls. We use get method to usually retrieve the data from the APIs or the endpoints. So whenever we request a data in terms of, let's say, reading a particular data, we'll use get method. We'll learn all about it, how to use it, how to use HTTP client in this method. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I'm here to share my knowledge with you. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series or code exp ex examples, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll really appreciate if you can support me by subscribing to my channel and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. Again, this is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. If you have not yet checked it out, please do so. There are over 60 plus tutorials now covering from introduction to advanced. The playlist link is in the description box below. Please do check it out if you really want to learn and master Angular 9. That being said, let's start. Let's focus on the current series that we are focusing, which is Angular HTTP. Uh, so far, we have covered uh, some of the important concepts and um, uh, tools that we need uh, in terms of observables or uh, understanding of dependency injection services, HTTP client. And in today's episode, we will learn how to make HTTP calls. Let's get started. All right. So we have just to give you a little background, uh, we'll use HTTP client, which is used uh, for making HTTP requests and responses in Angular. The HTTP client is available in Angular common slash HTTP package. The new HTTP client service is included in the HTTP client module. So remember that we need to import HTTP client module before we do any work with HTTP. If we don't do that, it will give you an error. Now, HTTP also gives other useful functionalities like headers, params, interceptors, etc. We'll see them in today's episode. Let's focus on making HTTP get calls. So making API calls to retrieve any data is basically a get method, right? So if you have an endpoint, you're trying to retrieve a data that is called as a get method where you don't update data or you don't post data. You don't create a new resource, but you just read the data. So the option is dot get HTTP dot get. We can also pass few options like headers, params, etc. Um, to which uh, to the get call. We'll see that now. Remember that the response type will always be an observable, which means uh, you'll have to subscribe to always read the data. That's important. Remember that a lot of uh, new developers make this mistake. They try to make a call and read the data directly which will not be the case in a regular. Um, it's good in a regular HTTP uh, request response model, but in Angular, it will return you an observable. Now, if you are wondering what is an observable, I have covered it in few tutorials back, so make sure you check it out. All right, so like I said, uh, we get the response and we have to process it via subscribe method. Let's see that in action. Before we do that, uh, HTTP client also uh, can take uh, different params like headers and uh, params options. These are called options, which goes with get method. These remain same when you are doing post or put or delete. So remember what I show you today in get applies to post, put and delete as well. All right. So there are six steps that I've listed it down for you. Uh, we'll follow this. I've listed it for your convenience. So make sure you take time to read, to understand and to master it. So the first step you have to do is import the HTTP client module in your app module. Without this, it will not work. So make sure you import the HTTP client module first. Now, once you have done it, then we have to import the HTTP client in our component wherever we are making use of it. Third, once you have imported it, you have to inject it into the constructor. 
once you have injected the constructor you'll have an instance of it then you can make a get call to it that's step number four step number five is to import the wherever services wherever you're calling it into the required component and then make the call directly uh, to the http request so these are the six simple steps we'll follow to get our http client working let's get to hands-on but again my request would be during the course of this example do try it with me so code with me uh, get a hands-on experience if you see any issues any queries do let me know i'll be happy to help you all right so let's cover the story so far so we built this uh, last time in the last tutorial where we created a simple contacts component and we had the static values which we were reading right and we also learned how to create a mock uh, server using json server right and we have this post serve so this is a simple uh, endpoint um, i will teach you how to create an endpoint using express and node in the coming tutorials but today we'll be using this mock endpoint which returns us some sample post right so it has three simple posts that it will return us so let's get that and let's try to show it here so first what i'll do is i will go ahead and change my mock data to make sure it aligns to our component so it will be under your source assets and db.json this i'm going to say contacts right and if you go here and say contacts it should be now showing contacts and then i'm going to also modify this and i'm going to say contact or just say first name last name right so you can have any type of um, json structure that you want uh, there is no hard and fast rule which it has to follow but remember to give some meaningful values so just say you can correctly track it so for the easy purpose i'm just quickly jotting it down some names for you i'll copy this and make sure you have a valid json structure right so if you are finding it confusing i would suggest you please check out the previous tutorial where we learned how to create this json server and how to add the mock data to it so here let me add some values and then let's say you two angular okay these are this can be any values like i said um, it's up to us so let's see this now let's refresh we should see new structure which is first name last name and all that so so far so good um, we got our endpoint created which is returning as a response so now what we'll do is we will map this into our component so first step i told you is to go to your app module i'll make some notes for you http get first step uh, make sure you have an endpoint endpoint slash api or an url whatever you call it um, which returns you a response data okay so you have your endpoint which will return you response data the next step is first we have to import import http client module into our app module so let's go to app module and and that will be available in angular slash core slash http oh, sorry angular slash common slash http okay so we need to import that and to do that we'll say right http client module okay now we need to import this here in our imports array now remember if you don't do this step if you don't do this step correctly http won't work okay so once you have imported the client module you can safely close the app module that we are done with it now we will go to our 
contact dot service. Uh, that's what we implemented. Um, we created a service file called contact dot service last in last episode. Episode. If you missed it, please check it out. Okay, so so we will go to our contacts dot um, service. That's what we created last time, and we returned a static data, right? So we just returned uh, some data which is hard coded, right? It's not making a call to endpoint. So now we'll modify it. So what we'll do is we'll first delete this, right? We'll first delete this. So in the contacts list, what we'll do, uh, we'll make this. So contact list instead of making what we'll do. We'll write this. Okay. So now what we'll do here. First we have to import HTTP client. I told you which we did. And now I'll create an instance of it. Of HTTP client because I want to make the HTTP call. So now I will say. this dot http client dot get method what's my url it is http localhost 3000 slash contacts right that's my endpoint so all it takes is a url get will always require you to just have a url right it doesn't require any data all it requires is a url so i've given the url which is what i have it here 3000 contacts it will, it will return me this value now we will return this okay so we can say return this and remember it will always return right it will always return us a observable so what we need to do we'll go to our contacts and in the component we have imported the contact service last time we created an instance so now I'm going to change this and I'm going to say this dot contact list contact list is equal to this dot contact service dot I'll say get contacts right this is the method now I have to subscribe to it because it's an observable and now we will or instead what we can do also is we can take this value put it here and say data so now I am subscribing to the date to that call which is get contacts in my contact service which is returning me an observable of HTTP client and then in the component I am subscribing getting the data passing it to contact list but contact list won't show just yet anything I made it any in the previous it was array so make sure you also change it to array now this will not show anything because we just need to change it here here we have the first name right so now if you see it is showing the first name values from our get call right so if you compare the values are Raj, Suresh, YouTube those are the values here right so this is how you make a get call so what you do in the service just to recap for you in the contact we are just making HTTP client dot get for get we have to pass a URL the URL will return us the endpoint response data. Remember, it will always return us an observable. And hence, in my when I'm importing it into my components, I am doing a subscribe. So I'm subscribing to it. I'm taking the data and mapping it to a into my template. Right. So this is a simple example of how to make a get call. Uh, I would want you to get started with it because we can also do a lot of other things like uh, I can say const uh, HTTP headers equal to new HTTP headers. We'll learn this uh, in the coming tutorials, but it's too much for you today in one go if you're new. Uh, but I'll just, let me just show you content type and we can also specify like application slash JSON. And here we can pass it in the params and we can say headers HTTP headers so we can pass headers similarly we can pass params we will explore them uh, in coming topics and in coming episodes 
for today all you have to focus is making a get call and getting the details back into your template that is all you have to focus today that is all you have to learn right so get the get http get method working locally working for you once you get it incoming tutorials incoming tutorials we will learn to expand with headers params and interceptors okay so i leave you with that thought take a look at it this options again practice what i taught you and let me know if you have any doubts i'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining in today's episode i'll see you in the next episode where we will learn about http post thank you so much you have been uh, giving so much um, love so many comments are coming in which are very very encouraging thank you thank you so much for that i'll promise to bring you best tutorials thank you so much again